Hey gang, welcome back to the big board. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A fresh game. Something uh, fascinating and fun and exciting about seeing a game up for the first time. It's kind of cool. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this particular title. Uh, it's, this is called the Caucasus Campaign. It's a GMT title. Yet another Simonich game. I seem to be inundated with this man's work lately, so that's cool. I have... Uh, Arden 44, Normandy 44, and Ukraine 43 begging me to be played also. But I've taken a different approach to learning this game. Over here, I've got a, a movement summary that I found online. I've read that. I've read the sequence of play. I've read the movement and zone of control rules and the victory conditions and the setup. And we're just going to start playing. And we're going to see what happens. Uh, may or not be, may or may not be a smart way to go about things, but we're going to try it as a means of accelerating the learning cycle. I was going to go through the rules and do what I usually do and underline everything and summarize it all and all that sort of fun stuff. But uh, I have a desire to get through more titles in the chronological walkthrough of World War II thing uh, project uh, this year, the, rather than sooner rather than later, I guess. Uh, I've got a fair amount of work on my plate at the moment, so I'm gonna have to be very efficient with my time and try and manage things uh, deftly, as they say. And so we're gonna kind of crank on the game side of things and see how we go with this. We're going to take pauses and look back over the turns to see that we've done things correctly. And if we haven't done them correctly, then I'll obviously, I'll obviously uh, reset and we'll, we'll restart. But uh, the, the way I look at it lately, uh, some of the games I've been trying to learn, uh, for various reasons, I, I get into them and play two or three turns and then realize, oh crud, you know, despite the fact that I read all the rules and underlined them all and did all this BS, being all OCD and organized, allegedly organized, still make mistakes that I feel are substantial enough that I'm going to have to reset. So why not just jump in anyway, knowing that we're probably going to have to have a quick reset, and we'll just uh, have a bit of fun while we do it. So that's the new thinking <laughs> for today uh, of the of the gaming approach. This game is actually pretty well laid out, so I, I, I feel like I'll be able to get into a game, start playing, look up the specific rule. It's got a nice detailed uh, sequence of play here that we can reference off of so we know the difference between the initial phase and the primary phase and the primary movement phases and the secondary impulses and all that sort of BS. So we can kind of, we can work on that basis. Uh, so um, well, so we're gonna see how it, how it goes. And that's all I had to say to you. I wanna catch up with you later. Caucasus campaign, GMT. Talk to you soon.